I am concerned that the negative, the negativity I've already indulged is going to manifest in a bad way. Neville addressed this. He said the dominant energy of the two is what the subconscious receives. The most dominant energy in all of creation is divine energy. God is love. And so for us here in this reality, that means love energy. If we can supplant these negative thoughts and we can substitute it with love and thinking on these lovely things, we can change the way the subconscious creates. Even if you've, we've all created conditions that we did not want to experience and we did this because we were not aware of how this works. Now we are, we're going to change it. But anytime you catch yourself thinking negatively, just supplant it with something loving and your subconscious knows how to absolutely rearrange your life. Your subconscious knows how to call in those things that you need right now to succeed, to thrive, to prosper, and to be well. Right now, your subconscious knows how to change this as if it were a miracle. As if it were a miracle. You have to trust the process, though, and you have to do the work. You have to be monitoring. You have to be aware. You have to be feeling. Now, here's something I want to say about that feeling. We talked about winning the lottery. So somebody might want to attract a lottery win and they're thinking about it. The conscious, the, the, the intentional and desirous man aspect is thinking about this lottery, but they're trying to conjure within themselves a complimentary feeling, but they've never won the lottery before. They don't know how that feels. They've never had that much money. They can't even conceive of how that feels or what they do with all that money. So what do we do in a situation where we have a desire, but we don't know how to conjure the requisite feeling? Well, in those cases, just substitute love. There is none higher. And you, suck at MCs, better call me sire. <laughs> That's all you have to do. I have a few things in my back pocket that just fill me with love when I think upon them. For example, when I think upon my daughter as a baby, I know I've said this a million times, when I see her little chubby face or when I see her little chubby legs, oh my God, I get filled with love. So I have her pictures around. I have her pictures all around. When I think on my doggies and how much I love my doggies, I get filled with love. When I think about my husband and how he holds space for me and his beautiful blue eyes. I get filled with love. Love is the most ascended and divine and powerful energy. So if you don't know what the feeling ought to feel like, default to something that fills you with love. And that's good enough. Have the desire, be filled with love, and the subconscious will take care of the rest. Join me this year at the 2019 Bliss Retreat in beautiful Loveland, Colorado. The Bliss Retreat is a four-night, five-day, blissed-out extravaganza where there will be sacred ceremonies, spiritual workshops, and nightly services with me, Crystal Ann Compton. Go to theblissretreat.org to learn more. I hope to see you there.